Now in this lesson we're looking at data types, in particular categorical versus quantitative. Now categorical data cannot be measured, it can only be sorted into groups. Whereas quantitative data is measurable in some way and is given a numerical value, okay, a number. Now quantitative data can be broken up two ways, one discrete and two continuous. Now when we're talking about discrete we're talking about exact numbers, okay, countable data. Whereas continuous is a measurement that lies between certain limits of accuracy. So let's look at some examples. Now part one, number of people attending a concert over at season. We're going to see whether we can work out what data type it is. Well it's certainly quantitative data because we're going to give it a numerical value, okay, the number of people attending the concert. Now it's discrete because we're dealing with exact numbers. So we'd say then that it's quantitative and discrete as the data is countable. Part two, the heights of students in a class. Well again it's quantitative data because a numerical value will be given, but this time it's continuous because the measurement, okay we're dealing with the height of students, the measurement lies between certain limits of accuracy. So depending on what instrument you're using will determine on how accurate the measurement will be. So we'll say that quantitative and continuous as the measurements are made within certain limits of accuracy. Our third example, type of fish in New South Wales rivers. Well this time it'll be categorical data because they'll be sorted into groups. And part four, the quality of hair shampoos. Well again it'll be categorical, again sorted into groups. And it's good to give some examples. So we say it's categorical as the data can only be grouped according to specified levels of quality. Example, high, average, etc.